What's up, Friday Nighters? Welcome back to the Just Another Friday Night podcast pre-show. <laughs> I want to remind you guys, as always, we do have a regular podcast available yeah. places, uh, but uh, this is just the pre-show. Mm -hmm. Season 2, Episode 2 pre-show, guys. Um, and Just Another Friday Night is the podcast that is available on Anchor, uh, anchor.fm, Spotify, probably the easiest. ITunes. That's where Michelle Obama's is at. Yeah, <laughs> iTunes. Um, Google Podcasts. Stitcher. Stitcher. Breaker, Breaker. Podcast Addicts. Podcast Addicts. Overcast. Uh, anywhere you get podcasts, guys, we're there. And yeah. if we're not there, let us know. We just signed up for some Amazon Music things, so we should be like on Amazon Music Ooh. pretty soon now, too. Unless that was a hoax, in which case that would suck. Uh, I am CM Chuck. This is Adam Antium Adam, as I like to call him, Double A. Uh, and uh, guys, you can just call me CM. Um, uh, hi, Ellie. How are you doing? Guys, I got my mouse going, so I should be able to scroll your comments now. Um, Ellie, we're praying for your mom. Hopefully yes, you prayers for your mom, you yes. Get well soon. Um, speaking of prayers, guys, um, today is 9-11. Um, yeah. We hate to have a somber episode after a somber episode last week, but um, yeah, and I'm wearing my cap, my cap shirt here. Um, but you know, guys, it's been 19 years, 19 and years. Uh, we've grown as a country, grown as a nation. Something's good, something's bad, something we still need to work on. But either way, we always remember that day, um, mm -hmm. and we'll never forget. So uh, to all the people that were lost. Um, our prayers, mm -hmm. you know, um, people are still dying from yes. the results of all that crap too. Yeah. Um, some of the firefighters, cops, see them still right. kind of dying from right. lasting all that effects. crap. Yeah. The lasting mm -hmm. effects from all mm -hmm. that bullshit. So I heard uh, a story on another podcast, uh, last pot on the left. Um, it's an old episode I listened to today in preparation. And, uh, guy said he, one of the videos he watched, I think it's called 102 minutes. If you yeah, get a chance yeah, yeah, to watch yeah. it, it's yeah. all the clip together. Mm -hmm. but he says a guy. Actually, says he was actually scooping out soot from his mouth Oof. and could like so. Uh, I mean, guys, tragic day, horrific day. We're gonna get more into it in our episode. Yeah. Um, in case you didn't notice, it's gonna be a 9/11 episode, mm -hmm. guys. But we're gonna talk about how pop culture uh, affected it um, and what they did with it. Um, should we show these while we have videos? Oh yeah, show these. I mean, we're, yeah. we're gonna post pics too. But while you can see, so these are some stuff that Marvel came up with um, mm -hmm. for the 9/11. This was uh, for like the charities. Uh, had lots of the top writers, artists on it. A moment of silence. Yeah, and then this was the famous Spider-Man uh, black cover. I'm sorry, you can't really see it right there. It's just it's a amazing. black cover, guys. Yeah, it's a black <laughs> cover, but it's Amazing Spider-Man 36. Yeah. Uh, it's become a pretty much a classic in its own right. Uh, it's looking at New York through Spider-Man's eyes, so it's uh, it's a pretty brutal issue. Both of them are actually pretty brutal. Great so. issue. But, yeah, Marvel did this... Uh, for charity, for all the firefighters, cops, first responders, everyone that acted as quickly as they could. So. Yeah, all the I think all the proceeds went there. There was one more book they did called Heroes. Uh, we don't have it here, but no, but I think it was like a bigger one. Right? Yeah, like kind of yeah. a magazine mm -hmm. style, uh, but great art by Alex Ross. Yeah, uh, same that cover the was yeah, the cover is Alex Ross. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, hi Jess, thanks for joining. Uh, who else we got here? Oh. Uh, hi, hi, hi mom. <laughs> Hi, Ma. <laughs> and we're enjoying some good Americano beer, Sam Adams, for the uh, good old 9-11 day. Guys, got the flag flying in front of my house. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about some other stuff here yeah. on the pre-show, guys. Yeah. First off, last week's episode, our tribute to Chadwick Boseman. Guys, rocking with the man right here, T'Challa. Wakanda forever, guys. Uh, he's going to be ro riding with us as we podcast throughout this season and probably as long as we go forward until Double A tells me, get the mask off of his wall so uh, but um yeah um uh please let us know what you thought about last week's episode did you have any comments questions things that we talked about movies did movies you see you the see? movies that maybe cm uh, was recommending yeah did you see them man are there movies you've seen that we didn't see we didn't t we mm -hmm. talked a little bit about um marshall but i haven't seen it uh, and did you get to 21 bridges this no week? i did not i no, didn't no, either no, but it's no. the, i already bought it on prime so it's going to no. get watched yeah. you know what i mean but um yeah, um, Joe, hey Joe, what up, man? He says, Remember the towers? Yeah. Uh, we, we did talk about that, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we the were, trailer, the teaser trailer for Spider Man. That's right, guys. Yeah. If you remember in the initial poster, the twin towers were in Spider Man's eyes. This is the first Tobey Maguire one, but they had to go t digitally remove mm -hmm. them. 
uh, well, because not just with the teaser too. Yeah. yeah, that's right. The teaser trailer as well. Yeah, uh, we're gonna talk about that. Uh, Jessica, you're making a good point. You love the hats. Um, we want to talk about that as well. Last week we went out to see Mario Delgado inside Trailers Village at Authority Comics. And the great guy that he is, he hooked us up with these badass hats. So, Mario, thank you so much. Authority Comics, thank you so much. Yeah. We're rocking the buttons as well. I got mine up here. Authority, my Authority Comics button. Or is it here? Sorry. Yeah. Camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got a little Superman on there. Um, and it says Authority Comics, guys. Mario, always the man. Had a great sale this week. If you didn't go, you missed out. Maybe he'll have another one for you guys. Where'd I don't you know. Get to you? Uh, I picked up a great mini Wolverine Bowen statue Ooh. in the brown Ooh, and gold costume. Brown. I love the brown costume. Yeah. It's pretty much got the, the claws crossed. Okay. It's got a little okay. base. They're, they're small, but they're nice. Okay. Uh, Bowen was like the only one doing statues back in the day, Mario. So it's numbered on the bottom. Ooh. But what's cool is like the little base is probably looks like the size of this bottle. Okay. But it's got the three deep slash marks nice. in it. So it's pretty nice. cool. I picked that up. Very I was nice. with my, my dad and my girlfriend. My girlfriend, uh, Jess, she picked up two... Um, horror books one is called like tomb of dracula oh, hey jess if you're still watching wow. post those pics like it's like a, a tomb of dracula or Dra curse of dracula something like that. really nice hardcover man mario had hardcovers guys buy one get one free uh joe real quick uh he's gonna be close tomorrow but he'll be there sunday okay yeah um, i checked his facebook he's gonna close but that's why me and cm are gonna be uh at another place uh, when we get to it in a minute. But you said uh, Jess bought a Tomb of Dracula, huh? Yeah, it was like a, a Dracula story, Curse of Dracula, something like that. I'll have her ass. post a picture, or, or okay. Hunt, if you're watching, drop a picture in the in the, in the the chat here. Um, but she also bought that, and then she bought a soft cover, Jeepers Creepers. Ooh, like, shit. I guess, like a companion story or Ooh. book or something like that. So My she's into the horror. I'm a fan too. of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know you always say your yes. wife does not like Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so we went out there, we saw Mario, we got some great stuff. Uh, he was having buy one, get one free mm -hmm. on yeah. the nice. trades, on Hard comics. covers, soft covers, back bins. He, had, he even was making some deals on his uh, graded comics, too. Yeah, he had deals on his graded books. My dad's Harley statue is really cool. The base is like the cards fanned out. What like Harley playing is it? cards. Um, is it her clown uniform? Is it the short uniform? I believe she's in the, in the clown uniform, the I, clown believe. Okay. I believe. That's I got, my favorite. I've got to have him take a picture of me. That's my favorite. Um, so, yeah, it was a really great statue. Me and my dad got statues. I don't normally buy that, but Mario's deal was too good to pass up, so I had to get a statue. And uh, he had a lot of other trades there I wanted to get. But, guys, let me tell you, podcasting does not pay, so I did not get to get any trades at that moment, <laughs> additional trades at that moment. But uh, either way, you know what I mean, uh, great sale. Um, if you missed it, the next one that Mario has, you got to go out there and catch him at Authority Comics. Mm -hmm. uh, but what Double A was alluding to was that tomorrow, guys, if you're in San Antonio, there is going to be a comic show, the San Antonio Card and Collectible Show. Uh, we want to thank uh, Rick at Rick's uh, Comic Crypt for letting us know about this show. We're going to be there tomorrow rocking the Just Another Friday Night podcast shirts, rocking our Authority Comics caps. Uh, it's at the Shrine Auditorium, 901 North Loop, 1604 West. Starts at 10, uh, 10 a.m. and it's 7 bucks to get in. And it's Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. We'll um, be there tomorrow. Rick is another guy that we went to for many years. He's another guy that we trust a lot. Yeah. Uh, with uh, you know comic book buying to going to, we trust him a lot. So yeah, uh, he's another good guy. If you um, don't go see Mario or Mario doesn't have it for some reason, go see Rick. Rick, Rick is take care. Yeah. Rick's a great dude. Rick's yeah. Um, so uh, we'll be out there tomorrow, guys. We're not gonna have like a booth or a table. We're gonna be walking yeah. around. We might be doing some of our own personal shopping. We'll be masked up. Obviously, I'm sure yeah. everybody is. Yeah. I'm sure they're gonna limit entry as well, probably capacity. So, but if you want to go check it out, go get some books. Go over there, support Rick, and if you see, I don't think Mario's going to have a set who's going to just be there supporting, no, walking around. No, because like I said, so he's going to be closed Saturday on his Facebook. He said he's closing for some family time. So, mm -hmm. so he nice. might not be there, but he'll be there Sunday. He will be at his shop at Trader's Village on Sunday. That's right. That's right. Joe, thank you for the comment about uh, Masters of the Universe here. That's double yeah, A's. Uh, yeah. uh, the artist's name is Dave Wilkins. Uh, Joe, you might want to check out his stuff. He's You've met him a couple of times, yeah. right? Well, we did. Me that's right. Yeah, we yes. both had him. That's right. That's right. Animal City Comic Con. That's kind of a buff got, guy. That's where I got the Skeletor one. Yes. Um, awesome. Awesome. Cool dude. Cool yeah, dude. cool dude. He's liked our tweets on, on Twitter stuff, mm -hmm. so he's always good. Uh, okay, yeah, good luck on the football, Joe. Yeah, I know your kids luck. are playing, man, so we wish them stay safe out there while they're playing. Uh, safety first on the yeah, field, safe. but also hope they get the W. Yeah. Bring home a win. Yeah. 
I said uh, TM got football on Sunday. So. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're not playing, or, or our kids, but we'll be deeply invested. Believe me, uh, fantasy league going strong. Yes. <laughs> that's the guess. Football is back, guys, as mm-hmm. of last night. Uh, football, you might not think necessarily pop culture, but it is popular, and it's in our culture, so and it, it is pop culture. It, it, and, you know, I am playing for some money, so uh, whenever I win, I am putting it into this podcast. So. When money is involved, <laughs> yes, guys, <laughs> so. same here, so I'm trying to support it. I just bought myself a, this is not, you will see me in a new headset, hopefully by <laughs> next week. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, everything that I win, hopefully, it's going here. Going here, and me the same, so that's like a double win for us. <laughs> Uh, hopefully we'll get those nice Joe Rogan rigs, whatever. Ooh, yes, nice. Joe, we do know about the Kevin Smith uh, Master mm-hmm. of the Universe. Uh, eventually we'll get some talking in about that. The more uh, we learn, Joe, um, check out the Transformers uh, Cybertron one. That was good. It's a prequel to the Transformers original series. Uh, it's the Civil War between Megatron and Optimus Prime. Ooh. It's only like six episodes, thirty minutes each. Nice. Uh, check that series out. That one's a really good series. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, guys, and again, this is your time to to type into us. Let us know anything that you want to talk about. Ask us mm-hmm. questions about uh, while we're here. Yeah, um, yeah. you know what I mean. Uh, doing this live, and so we're gonna answer those uh, questions. See, so yeah, man. How about some of the uh, bad needs, kind of uh, in a way for me and you? Uh, I for know. Us, uh, when it comes to uh, the Walking Dead, the Walking Dead they finally decided no to cut it. Yeah, yeah. Finally, that's... they're like, okay, well, there's no more stories to go to. So. I mean, I felt like we knew it was kind of coming to the end because they yeah. were just winding down. But yeah. it's you can always really stretch it out so much. You could. There's so there's so many places you can go with that. And what so was it seemed like by season three they were already like almost like like more than halfway done. Yeah, more than halfway. <laughs> now, and from what I've read of the books, they were doing a much better job. We were getting much richer stories in the show, yeah. so that was we we're better off, I mm-hmm. guess maybe. But. Yeah. Um, yeah, sad that it's going to be ending, but they did say there'll be a Daryl and Carol spinoff. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold my breath saying they survive. Maybe it's going to be something else. So uh, right, don't count on them surviving. Yeah. Just in case, because uh, my wife was getting really excited. She was like, "Oh, they're going to make it." Yeah, and like, it makes maybe. you, you know, it makes you wonder in a show like that, what are you working towards? Is you are you working towards a cure? Or are you working see, towards? That's the thing, you know, though. In the show, they're not working towards anything. Yeah, it's just kind of uh, like it's just surviving to the right. next day. It's yeah, like, and you're yeah. getting attacked by the next threat and the yeah, next threat. Every time and... they try to build something, there's someone else that wants to come along and you know beat the shit out of everyone. So. And then there's always that they've been talking about that other series that's going to come out, right? Double A, the world. Yes, yeah, the world beyond. The world it's only going to be a two season. Uh, and limited it's a, run. Supposedly 10 years from, I guess, the current timeline, which, which okay. the current timeline is already six years ahead in the regular Walking Dead. And I think, like, it hmm. used to be that fear was before. But now they caught up. Yeah, and, like, now, like, the regular is way past. It's kind of confusing, I yeah, know. But yeah. um, we love The Walking Dead, so yeah. we'll be watching, mm-hmm. and it'll be there. I hope Negan's, Negan's there. Yeah, me and Sam have been to many a Comic Con just to see The Walking Dead people, so. Yeah. Um, I, I want to ask you about something. I heard that. They they wrapped Supernatural right, so it's yes. done. I know I you're know, a huge yeah. fan. Yeah. And the guy that plays Dean Jensen Ackles, yeah, he gets to keep the car. Yeah. What yeah, about my, finally, what about my boy Jared? Jared uh, he said the he car? said he's fine with it. Uh, that's more of Dean's car. That is Dean's car. Okay. Uh, okay. Jared has said he's taken so many things already from the set. <laughs> but, yeah, very sad. I'm, I'm not looking forward to the end of the Super Yeah, uh, well, He huge. is going to go on to uh, Season 3 playing Soldier Boy, though. So Yeah, <laughs> and The be, Boys, uh, which we, we watched this week, guys. Um, oh, yeah, The Boys, yeah. New the, episode today, The too. Boys is back. Yeah, we haven't watched that one mm-hmm. yet, but The Boys is back. We watched the first three and then a little mini that uh, Double A found yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you say? The boys being back is the boys, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Homelander, man, he's just getting more and more psycho as each episode is going. Guys, watch the boys for <laughs> Homelander alone. Yeah. Uh, the actor oh, is my superb goodness. at playing yeah. a psychopath and yeah. a sociopath, and it's really stark and scary. A guy that's almost like a mashup of Superman and Captain America <sighs> literally yeah. wears the flag as a cape. With but like a what what kind of brain like a fucking the most twisted sh- brain like like if the Red Skull and Doctor Doom's brain was yeah, together that's a good one. he's yeah. a real yeah real nut not even that because he's more nuts like yeah. he's just very self serving he's yeah, like there's no he's like, like I can do whatever I want <laughs> yeah 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 pretty much like like a bad Superman <laughs> like if you saw uh, Brightburn <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> grown yeah. up <laughs> yeah. so there's that. Um, 
Uh, what else? Uh, we got uh, Dune. I, I, I know a lot of uh, fan, people, sci-fi people are fans of Dune. We're sci-fi people, but mm -hmm. I, I've not seen Dune the original. I have not either. I have not even read the books. Uh, okay. But you said Friday Night Member Roxanne is yes. a huge Dune fan. So yes, I'm Friday Night or Roxanne. That probably means that Friday Night or John Hope is probably a big fan too, by and choice. She, she always tells me <laughs> i got to watch Dune, right, Foxy Roxy? Or I was like, come on, you got to I mean, watch Dune. It's a good Dune. cast. It's got Sting. It's got Picard in there. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Patrick Stewart, it's got... Uh, He's Picard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or Xavier. Or Xavier. Uh, but, I mean, it's got a good cast. It's a really good cast. I'll check it out. I'm open to anything. I'll, but I heard know. that it's just it's so epic at that time that it was kind of hard to make it at that time. So, right, right. Yeah. I was even reading an old uh, issue of uh, some old Cap issues you let me... Actually, the Truth oh, series. Yeah, truth. Yeah. And there's actually an ad in there for a series... That was about Dune, like a spin-off show. Okay. Yes. And yes. yes there James was. McAvoy's in it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, another right. Xavier. So it had both right. Xavier's, right. the yeah. Dune family. Yeah. That's right. You're all right. <laughs> yeah. So yes, Joe, grown Brightburn, bro. Go check it out, the boys. Um, Tiger King. If you love the Tiger King, Joe Exotic. Um, apparently, he's coming to. Um, oh, sorry, guys. If we're having some technical difficulties here, we're not sure what. Uh, What's happening there? Let us know if you can see us still or if we went offline. We're going to keep talking if you're still getting audio because it says that we're still live here. But, um, yeah, Joe Exotic, the Tiger King, apparently is going to get a movie on Amazon. Yeah, which his movie was already popular. Yeah, the Tiger, Netflix show. Back. Super popular. But um, the uh, Netflix show is going to be the next thing there, whatever. So I forget a little feedback there, guys. Uh, looks like we're on we're on double time here. I don't know if we're not seeing the video or not, but I don't know. Anybody out there, let us know if you are. Uh, but yeah, Nicolas Cage is attached to it. It's going to be on uh, Amazon uh, Prime, they say. So that's where The Boys is. But, uh, oh, thank you, Aaron. Okay, Aaron cool. says he can see okay. us. Okay, good. Okay. We can no longer see ourselves, yeah. so we're not sure why that okay, is. Okay, we'll keep going. <laughs> yeah, we'll just gonna keep on chatting away here. So, um, yeah, so if you like the Tiger King doc on Netflix... Uh, you got more to come from the Tiger King with uh, Nicolas Cage in the Joe Exotic role. That at least is what IGN reported that we saw earlier today. And so that will be coming in sometime in the future on Amazon Prime. Um, <laughs> Aaron, thank you. And you also suck it. Uh, <laughs> but no, as always, thank you, Aaron, our our, our one paid patri patron here. So we appreciate you, Aaron. Uh, all this wouldn't be possible without you. <laughs> um, Wonder Woman. Yeah, said, got pushed again, uh, so that sucks. Um, Christmas time now, so I was like, ah, I was. They were really hyping it up. We we're getting excited about it, and now it's like shit. Now, were you gonna go to theater for it? No. Okay. No. So we're still I wanted to go. see New Mutants, and uh, yeah, I was not gonna risk it. So. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Um, Thank you, Joe. Also, we appreciate it. Um, yeah, I know. I, you know, you know, me and you are Bond fans, so it's kind of a sad news that uh, the Mrs. Bond, the actual Mrs. Bond, uh, that started in the highly underrated on Her Majesty's Secret Service passed away. Mm -hmm. So that Who, kind of who's sad. the Bond in that one? Uh, George Lazenby. Okay, that's the, the very that's famous a good one. Bond gets married. It's a really good one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, check it out. Um, it's it's good. He's good as Bond. So And she was really good at being like his equal, so... Um, I didn't did know. A really good job. I know her as Elena mm -hmm. from you know the Terrell family on mm -hmm. Game of Thrones, but I didn't know she was also a Bond girl. Yeah, so she passed. the Bond girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, the wife, the wife <laughs> yeah. of Bond, the one yeah. wife. So, um, yeah. So that's very sad. Her passing, but a long, good life, and oh, yeah. luckily yeah. no COVID related. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, awesome to her. Obviously, the second uh, kind of boost in her career playing Elena. The and then she was in the Lawrence. British show The Avengers too. Uh, yeah, with uh, I don't remember who the male was. Me neither. I'm not too yeah. sure. But it was a you know obviously it was, very, it was a very popular. And they did the remake with uh, Uma Ooh, Ooh. and Ralph yeah. Fiennes. I think yeah. I heard it was not as no, great. Yeah, no. Sean Connery too. I yeah. think as the villain. Yeah, but they just yeah. said it was bad. Yeah, she looked good though in the outfit. Though, yeah, she so. did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Aaron. We want to see uh, it too. I don't know if you're talking about Wonder Woman or whatever. Yeah, I, I want to see Tenet also. Yeah. 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 But um, <laughs> yeah, Def Def Hot uh, Gal Gadot in that. Um, you gave me some good, uh, interesting news about. I don't know if it's good news, but interesting news about Sony. They're not going to put anything in. Yeah, so said. like they're like, no, we're not going to put any of our movies on until everything is, you know, good again for people to go because 
on their slate, they got Venom 2, they got Morbius, which was supposed to come out, which we were really a pumped up before, right. uh, and uh, Venom, uh, Venom and Spider-Man. So they were like, no, we're not going to... We're not going to put any movies out until it's safe to go for everyone. So, I was okay. Like, All right. Well, so, Sony's not going to, they're not going to do any direct to release either. So, uh, that sucks too. That sucks. Well, I mean, I hope that they'll keep filming. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know if we talked about it last week or not, but obviously we know that the Batman stopped filming because yeah, Pattinson, Robert got, Pattinson got, got COVID. Yeah, I was like, fuck. So, yeah. Um, must have been drinking the wrong blood or something. Something like yeah. that. Different kind of bat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we hope Robert Pattinson gets better because obviously the trailer will. to the Batman looked will. really yeah. badass. Yeah, yeah um, we know a lot of people have recovered and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that does Sony says that does suck, Aaron. So we see that there. Mm -hmm. And yes, Joe, um, the new Bond does look yeah. really badass. So yeah. I'm looking forward to that too. Hey guys, and you're telling us there's only five people watching. You need to share this video, guys. Make a little <laughs> watch party. Get it going there. Get your friends. Get your family. Share it twice. So twice it makes drink it with nice. Us. Yeah, have a drink with us. We're having it. We're having a drink. We don't know if you can have a drink on Facebook. That's probably why they cut our, our video feed. So here's here's to you. Here's to America, guys. 9/11. Well, guys, if there's no questions, any further comments? That's all we got for you right now. We're going to get out of here. We're going to go do the podcast. Don't forget to come and meet us. Uh, I don't know if we'll shake our hands. But we'll give you the Wakanda. Give us a Wakanda forever yeah, tomorrow Wakanda. Yeah. while we're out at the SA Card and Collectible Show. Again, thank you to Rick's Comic Crypt yeah, for turning like us on. That. He'll be out there. He'll probably have a big booth, and he always has a lot of great stuff. Uh, the Shrine Auditorium, 901 North uh, North Loop, for, uh, excuse me, North Loop 1604 West. $7 to get in. And it starts at 10 a.m. So yeah, and uh, we'll be wearing the authority hats, and we'll be wearing our Just Another Friday Night shirts. So. Yeah, and I'll probably throw my button on there somewhere, yeah, or maybe nice. on, my, on my cap. Very nice. But, uh, <laughs> Aaron, you you quit. If you're trying to quit, quit. <laughs> um, but you can have breakfast with us tomorrow. Uh, guys, get up early. Get yourself a breakfast taco. Ooh. Uh, San Antonio, king of the breakfast tacos here. Oh, yeah. And then get your asses over to the Shrine Auditorium. Buy some comic books, guys. It's the time of COVID. You should be staying in anyway, not s spreading it. But you make a little time to go pick up some comic books. I'm sure they're going to have it safe. Wear your mask. And uh, if you've been looking for anything good, be a good time yeah, to pick we'll it up. We'll post up whatever we get. So. Yeah, and we'll be there. And we'll be happy to give you a Wakanda forever, guys. Um, but um, that's going to do it for us here. And uh, check out the new episode. It's going to be out tonight. It'll go up um, wherever podcasts are available. If you follow us on Spotify, or if you if you listen to us on Spotify, follow us on Spotify. Subscribe to us on iTunes. Write us a review. All that helps us out. We have a Patreon. You can uh, pay for our Patreon if you feel so inclined. You don't have to do that. Uh, we don't have any content on there now, so I wouldn't ask you to pay for it. But there's no content on there, but we'll get some content on there. Um, yeah, uh, check out our YouTube. Uh, I got yes. a new episode. Uh, Great that episode Wednesday. This, yeah. this Wednesday, by yeah. the way. Got yeah. a new episode up. Uh, so check us out on YouTube. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Twitter. On uh, uh, I think we're Facebook. on yeah, we're on Facebook. Uh, we're on Instagram, Pinterest. Uh, CM's got some TikTok videos. So There's a few TikTok videos out there. You can see him shake his ass. So yeah, you can see me shake my ass on the TikTok yeah. if you want. I yeah. mean, it's nothing to be you know marvel. It's at, great. But, it's fucking know? great. That video is great. <laughs> So that's my my boy. He uh, got some he got some pretty bad criticism for it from our other group. I, I did. I took a lot but of you know what? Fuck him. Yeah, because you know? he he took one for a team. Hey, so. just another Friday night comes first, guys. Yeah. So yeah. we're doing this for 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 you. Yeah. So you the Friday night faithful, you the Friday nighters, guys. That's it for myself, CM Chuck, and as always, double A, the Adam and Tim Adam, the unbreakable one, guys. Uh, we're out of here. We'll see you at the show tomorrow. We hope. Uh, be safe. And uh, rock on, guys. Yeah, have a good night.